The Mediterranean, the biggest inland sea in the world, the oldest site of human interaction, the cradle of countless civilizations. From the Nile Delta to the Pyrenees Mountains, it is the birthplace of the Egyptian, Phoenician, and Greco-Roman civilizations, and also the home of the Abrahamic religions, which have coexisted for centuries. Ancient Egyptians taught the Mediterranean people geometry, mathematics, agriculture, and how to write using images. The Phoenicians brought letters, the Greeks philosophy, theater, and democracy, the Romans, who dominated the entire Mediterranean, took their language and laws to the remotest corners of what they called Mare Nostrum. During their golden era in the Mediterranean, the Arabs imparted medicine, astronomy and mathematics, improved hygiene standards and invented new irrigation and building techniques. It's clear that the peoples of the Mediterranean are connected by a shared history. They are also joined by words which traveled from one language to another. It is the home of the first lingua franca, known as Sabir. The Mediterranean is also the birthplace of one of the most basic and essential foods in human history, bread. From that need to grow grains for bread and beer, humans created agriculture and cities and domesticated animals. The Mediterranean is a unique eco-region with climactic and ecological qualities found only on 2% of the Earth's surface. The same plants grow in the different countries bordering the sea. You can find olives, grapes, oaks and wheat everywhere. With an extraordinary biodiversity, the region hosts 20% of the Earth's flora and fauna, 52% of the world's endemic plants and 15% of global marine biodiversity. Throughout history, the people of the Mediterranean have moved freely between the northern and southern shores. First, Phoenicians, Greeks, Romans, Arabs, Venetians or Ottomans, and more recently, European nations as citizens settled in different lands, taking their customs, their culture, their religions and their ideas with them. Nevertheless, the last 150 years have been marked by the domination of European colonialism and nationalist ideologies. And from that time on, the Mediterranean has become an ever crueler frontier, a barrier that had never really existed before. Since the year 2000, more than 35,000 people have died in the Mediterranean while trying to reach European shores and escaping from poverty, war and repression. In the first four months of 2022, up to 16,000 migrants crossed the Mediterranean to touch the borders of Italy, Greece, Spain, Malta and Cyprus. To date, more than 300 of them are either dead or missing. Neoliberal solutions have made the economies of Europe's neighbors fragile, consolidating inequalities and shrinking markets and trade opportunities. Global warming has made severe weather events more frequent in the region, disrupting food chains and putting the area's unique biodiversity in danger. Twenty-seven years ago, the countries of the Mediterranean launched an ambitious process of cooperation and integration through political, social and economic development in Barcelona. If the key words of those days were reconciliation, cohesion, rights and fundamental freedoms, today's picture is rather different. Shrinking civil space, identity-driven politics, inequalities, hate speech, poverty and discrimination, misunderstanding and mistrust, growing difficulties for human mobility and an alarming lack of solidarity towards migrants and asylum seekers. The major political turmoil that occurred in 2011, which concerned not only the southern Mediterranean shore, but also some southern European countries, showed the limits of unjust economic and social policies. 
and made the need for urgent democratization and good governance more obvious. A new civil society has emerged. Partnerships have been formed on both shores as they address challenges like land rights, gender equality, migrant issues and socio-economic rights. An amazing potential of young and vibrant energy lies in the southern Mediterranean. It is not just a matter of demographics, considering that half of its population is below the age of 24. These young people also share common ambitions, building fairer societies based on the rule of law, respect for diversity and shared progress. A new alliance is possible between the different peoples of the Mediterranean and the younger generations can be the driving force behind it. Common challenges require regional work. In 2019, the EU funded a program called Med Dialogue for Rights and Equality as an important component of EU regional support to civil society. The program advocates for civil society solutions to regional challenges. A Med Dialogue study called Bridging the Sea, led by a pool of experts, explored several types of organizations, their capacities and experiences, and highlights on their impact through desk work, interviews and a general survey. An extensive list of 3,200 organizations was assembled and assessed, and 150 were identified as regional networks. 84% of them believe that there are common values among the Mediterranean countries across the board. More than 60% of these organizations strongly agree and over 30% agree with the idea of working together for promoting an integrated space with common policies, which represents almost 94% of respondents. A campaign called Our Mediterranean was launched to establish a space for dialogue to discuss social and political barriers impeding building a common Mediterranean destiny. The issue of um, migration and mobility is, from our side, one of the most significant when we speak about the Mediterranean. The campaign was built around a series of roundtables and debates, a trilingual survey called the MedVision Barometer, a theatre play, thematic videos and in-depth articles on the Mediterranean. And these are its main conclusions. There can be no Mediterranean without human mobility. The common destiny of populations must materialize around a new paradigm of Mediterranean citizenship. A major citizen-led campaign advocating for a constitutional process, pleading for a free, fair and united Mediterranean must be launched. Co-development and the reduction of inequalities will ensure the stability of the Mediterranean. The common future of the region lies in our ability to preserve and restore our environmental heritage. We uh, cannot imagine a future in this region if we not address the challenges together. There is no national solution. Given the challenges we are collectively facing, we cannot wait any longer. We must act now. The climate emergency and the threat of militarization has made citizens particularly aware that half measures cannot be a solution. Connected to their heritage and their lifestyle, Mediterranean people can no longer be placated by policies that keep a large number of citizens living precariously without respecting fundamental rights such as freedom of movement and expression. We are convinced of the need to create new narratives and to deconstruct the rhetoric of hate. The Mediterranean has all the assets to offer its inhabitants a space of mobility, freedoms and citizenship. The time has come for the Mediterranean to take to the world stage once again as a hotbed of enlightenment, humanism, hospitality and progress. Mediterranean has, we, we have its visions, we have it in maps, we have it in more folkloric understanding of culture but has always been a place of intercultural exchange. And intercultural, I'm not meaning one monolithic culture against another monolithic culture. I'm talking about hybrid places. 
Today, if we want to build a common space for rights and citizenship, we must revive the conditions for building a common house. We must imagine ourselves as part of a common destiny where civil freedoms, ecological balance, legal human mobility and social equality can be fulfilled if we all aspire to achieve these goals. It's difficult to imagine to support each other, to work together as civil society if you don't have a dream, an idea, a vision about what you would like this region to become in 20 years' time. Embracing the Mediterranean means saving Europe and its dream of a united space of freedoms and rights. There cannot be an in-group and an out-group when we refer to the region that gave birth to shared cultures, civilizations, landscapes and ancestral roots. This dream is like a treasure map, sealed in a bottle, floating across the sea, but it is waiting for a crew of courageous sailors to retrieve it, read it, understand it, and to act. <laughs>